Welcome back. After you've gone through unboxing your GuideWeld VR unit and ensuring that you've had all the necessary components to continue, the next question to ask is how am I going to install the GuideWeld VR software? This is a very good question because there are two different ways that you can install the software. The first on the left is installing it in a standalone configuration. One GuideWeld VR unit will be connected to one computer. The software and database will be downloaded on that computer and everyone will have to access it through that sole computer there. The alternative option on the right, if you had more than one unit, your IT may want to download that database onto a centralized server. In doing so, all the computers that you see on the far right there are communicating back to one location. And no matter which computer you have the GuideWeld VR unit connected to, it will always speak to that one centralized database. Today, I'm gonna to demonstrate how to install the GuideWeld VR software on a standalone Windows computer. To begin, I followed the link on the green sheet of paper that came in the unboxing to the website listed above. It takes you to the GuideWeld VR downloads page. And here again, this is where you will access your software to download for Windows or for Mac. You'll have access to the administrator guide, instructor guide, student guide, and quick start guide. And at the very bottom there, you will see you have the option to download the curriculum as well. So this link is very important for a multitude of reasons to not only get your software, be able to retrieve those user guides, but this is where you'll also access that curriculum. To begin, I've clicked on the Windows. It'll take me to a download page here. And you'll notice that all of our software updates are free for the life of the unit here. It tells us which version is here. So this is always gonna be the current version of the software. And once you click on download, it'll give you the option to either run or save that. In my case, I've chosen to save that to my desktop here, in which case I find this GuideWeld VR icon. After double clicking on it, it does prompt me for administrator credentials. After entering those credentials in, we'll begin going through the setup process. The first step here is to choose a setup language. As English is my language, I'm clicking OK. We'll go through the extraction process next. And it may take a few minutes to go through, but what will come up is that installation wizard. First step will be to click on next. The next will be that end user license agreement. You can go through and read all those details there. But in the end, if you're looking to install it, click on I accept the terms in this agreement and click on next. Here you have the option of a default location to install the software. You can change that, but in my case, I'm gonna keep it at defaults and click on next and then begin the installation. What this will do, is not only are we installing the software, but in the background here, it may look like nothing's happening on this front window, but right behind it is the little setup window where that database is being installed. So on this screen, we may not see any progress to begin with, but remember that hidden window behind there is working in the background. Upon completion of installing that database, we'll finish the installation wizard here, and you will now see that GuideWeld VR has been installed on this Windows PC.